The seven brief verses of Psalm 67 are almost wholly taken up with the concern that all humanity, Israelites and non-Israelites, uh, should know, should acknowledge, should, should respond in praise to our Heavenly Father. So let, let's, let's join, I'm asking you to join me uh, in positioning your heart, uh, positioning my heart uh, with proper praise towards our Heavenly Father as we read Psalm 67 today. Verse one, may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us that your ways may be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. May the people praise you, O God. May all the people praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy for you rule the people justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the people praise you, O God. May the, all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest and God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth will fear him. From this psalm, I hope you uh, see and I invite you to, to, to look with me uh, at, at the, the richness of what it means to experience true authentic, authentic joy. The joy talk, talked about in, in the fruit of the Spirit, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the goodness, the gentleness, the self-control, the joy that is part of that uh, cluster of goodness as, as, we, as we embrace that type of joy in our lives. And so I invite you to look back with me at verse number four. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. There, there is our joy that, that uh, the NIV has wonderfully translated for us. Um, but what causes them to sing for joy? What causes them to praise out uh, to their heavenly father full of joy? Well, luckily for us, the, the, the psalmist gives us the answer just after this. For you, talking about God, for God rule the people justly and guides the nation of the earth. So guys, it is out of that relationship with our Heavenly Father that we experience the joy uh, of His Spirit. It is as, as we trust in Him, as we, as we seek His ways, as we allow God to, to shepherd us, it is there that we find true joy. But we also see joy in verse one. Join me there. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make His face shine upon us. Sounds like some, some godly joy being lavished on someone, does it not? But, but why is that? How is that uh, joy uh, pouring out on the individual? Verse two gives us that answer. That your ways may be known on the earth, your salvation among the nations. So through the proclamation uh, of the goodness of God, through the proclamation of the greatest story ever told of God sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for the sins of the world so that we could experience eternity, so that we can experience a hope of an everlasting life. It is through that relationship, it is through that proclamation that we, we experience amazing joy, joy described in this psalm. This psalm caused me to think back to when I put my trust in Jesus, and I, and and maybe you you can do the same. It's when you when you think back to that moment when you surrendered, when you put your trust. Maybe yours was like mine, where it included a baptism, and as you came out of the water, as the 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 love was was poured down upon you, as the water rushed off your your face and off your body, you begin to feel this warmth of joy, this celebration, this uh, commitment to an amazing God that loves you so much and he birthed forth a joy inside you. Maybe yours is more regular as you, you experience that joy as you live in obedience, as you put, trust God uh, for the plans of that day, as you surrender to, to God and his, his willingness to lead you, as you trust in him. There it is, you find that joy, that, that, that peace, that, that celebration of, you know what, I don't know what today has, but I know I'm walking in right step with the Father, and it is good to be here. So I, I gotta ask, I gotta ask you to, to do some self-reflection, because maybe it's been a while since you've experienced the joy I'm talking about. Maybe it's been some time since you, you've experienced the joy that you read about in, in the Psalm 67. So if you find yourself down, if you find yourself out, if you find yourself short on, on, on joy, I, I invite you uh, to do a little self-evaluation. 
uh, and ask yourself this question, how have you trusted God lately? How have you trusted God lately? Where have you been surrendering to the Father? Where have you been trusting him to guide you uh, during this season, during maybe even today? Well, until we meet again, I ask that the Lord bless you uh, and the Lord bless those you care about uh, and may you find the joy that can only come from our Heavenly Father. Blessings.